Alright, finally home from work after an exhausting long day. Now to get to the good part of my day. Mail. Check this out. The Dunwich Horror. Now before I start the actual unboxing, I just want to take the time to admire how awesome and beautiful the slipcase is. Let's check it out. There you can see Sandra Dee, one of the actors in this film. You can see a portion of her face in the upside down cross. Zoom in a little bit. Based off an H.P. Lovecraft short story, this is the 1970 film adaptation released on Blu-ray from Arrow Video. Now let's check out the back. Riding high on their successful adaptations of Edgar Allan Poe, Roger Corman, and American International Pictures took on that other titan of literary terror, H.P. Lovecraft in The Dunwich Horror. Dean Stockwell from Quantum Leap stars as Wilbur Waitley, a mysterious young man who travels from the small town of Dunwich to the library of the Miskatonic University, which holds one of the only copies of the Necronomicon, a legendary book of occult lore that Wilbur hopes to borrow. Graduate student Nancy Wagner, played by Sandra D, Look at me, I'm Sandra D. falls under his malign influence and travels with him back to his home where Wilbur has plans to use her in a ritual to raise the Old Ones, cosmic beings from another dimension. But who or what is in the locked room at the top of the stairs? And what will happen if they get out? Now let's check out some of the special features. It's gonna have a new 2K restoration from Arrow Films, of course. Audio commentary from Guy Adams and Alexandra Benedict, creators of the audio drama Arkham County, the door into Dunwich, a new conversation between film historian Stephen R. Bissett and horror author Stephen Laws, in which they discuss the Dunwich horror, Lovecraft, and their memories of seeing the film. After summer, after winter, a new interview with the science fiction and fantasy writer Ruthanna Emerus, author of the Innsmouth Legacy series, new interviews with music historian David Huckvale, theatrical trailer and image gallery and a reversible sleeve now let's check that one out now those that know me and are familiar with my channel know i like to keep the plastics on my slip cases when possible so all i did was slice off the top and here we go bam here we're gonna have booklet and disc and reversible cover art. She looks like she's having a fun time. Oh yeah. I also wanted to mention that this film was directed by David Holler, who's mainly an art director for Roger Corman. Holler's directorial debut is Die Monster, Die, Die Horse Karloff, loosely based on another Lovecraft story, The Color Out of Space. And the rest of his directing credits are gonna include TV shows such as Night Gallery, Kojak, Battlestar Galactica, and Knight Rider. Roger Corman is actually one of the executive producers and if y'all don't know who Roger Corman is, y'all are probably on the wrong channel. So I've actually never seen this film before. And I will be ending my night watching 
the Dunwich Horror and enjoying a late night dinner.